Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This one is for all my fellow Victorians or anyone planning on visiting the state. I've decided to make this video to put together my top waterfalls in the state, which is obviously really hard. I've managed to narrow it down to six, but there's so many more that I want to include, but I wanted to keep this video nice and short and to the point. So let me know if you enjoy it and I can make another one with some more great waterfalls to visit because I can easily do that because there's so many. <laughs> I just think now more than ever, it's so important to get out and just take a break from our busy lives that we live and just get away from everything that's happening in the world and just take a moment to just breathe and get some fresh air and just enjoy these beautiful waterfalls basically. When I was doing my own research I couldn't find any other videos like this so I really hope that this one helps you and gives you some places to you know add to your bucket list and to go visit. I've also I'll include in the description the links to all the other videos of the full vlogs for when I've been to these places. Um, I'll obviously show you now these waterfalls but when I go there it's usually part of a bigger day trip or a weekend away so I'll list those vlogs below if you want to go check them out as well and I have tried to put these in some sort of order my top six uh, I'm gonna count down from number six but obviously they're all great and it's not set in stone like this is just my personal opinion but I think you'll all agree that all six of these waterfalls are absolutely incredible and worth going to so let's jump into it so number six is Turongo and Amphitheatre Falls in Gippsland now the reason I put these two together is because they're basically in the same walk it's in the same park and you basically just do a circuit which takes you to both so I have decided to put them down as number six so they're located in Tarongo Falls Reserve in Nuji, which is two hours east of Melbourne so the full circuit taking you to both is a 2.2 kilometer walk which takes one to one and a half hours if you do just want to go to Tarongo Falls it's only 750 meters uh, it is uphill but honestly if you're there like I would highly recommend going to both because they're both beautiful Tarongo Falls is definitely probably the better waterfall a lot more water just more luscious and like just better <laughs> Tarongo Falls is like the main attraction there uh, it's got a great viewing platform which kind of looks across it and it's just surrounded by all these tall gums and ferns. It's just so luscious and beautiful. But then if you keep walking around, do the full circuit to Amphitheatre Falls as well. I actually really love this one because it takes you to like an elevated viewing platform, which is all like wire. So you can see straight through and down underneath you. And it's like quite a big drop down to the river that flows down from Amphitheatre Falls. Uh, the falls itself isn't that great. Like it's still beautiful, but I just love the whole platform and like walking out there and just having a great view and being so elevated so would highly recommend doing both and even just the whole walk is stunning like you walk along the river and across a few bridges and that sort of thing I hadn't really heard much about this waterfall either like when I went there I was just doing a road trip through Gippsland I saw a sign for Tarongo Falls and I was like oh why not I'll go check it out and I was just so surprised at how good it was and to how little I'd heard about it so that's why I thought I'd include it in here. It is definitely beautiful and worth your time. There is also a camping ground just outside of the falls there. When I went, it was quite busy, but that was in summer as well. But you can definitely go there and make a whole weekend of it and camp there, or there's plenty of other things to do in Nuji as well, which you'll see in my other vlog, which I'll link below. And also all these waterfalls that I'm about to tell you about, they're obviously gonna be better in winter. So obviously when it's raining, there's gonna be more water around and there's gonna be more flowing over the waterfalls. With this one, I did visit in summer and there was still heaps of water, but it's obviously going to be even better in winter so just keep that in mind when you're planning your trip but definitely check out Amphitheatre and Tarongo Falls. Okay so number five is Stevenson's Falls which is just out of the town of Marysville and it's just under a two hour drive northeast of Melbourne. Stevenson's Falls is a great one for everyone including families it's only 700 meters and it's only going to take you 15 to 30 minutes return to walk there. It's really well laid out with a great track to walk there it's not very steep and when you get there at the base of the falls there's multiple viewing platforms and it's just great to see the water it actually drops 84 meters over the waterfall which is quite tall and you can actually get up quite close being on those viewing platforms and there's like a massive pool at the bottom and then it kind of flows down the river at this one you can actually walk to the top of the falls as well this track is actually quite steep um, i'd make sure you have like proper footwear and in summer obviously it can be really hot there as well so just make sure you're prepared but there is a track that leads you to the top and there's actually a viewing platform at the top as well and you can't really see the waterfall because you kind of just see the drop where it kind of goes over the edge of the cliff but it's a great view just looking out into the valley and like out towards Marysville and it's just a great lookout as well. So if you are going and you're up for the extra walk I would definitely recommend walking to the top as well just take like a backpack with water and that sort of thing and yeah just be careful of snakes and wear proper footwear in summer of course but Stevenson's Falls is a great one but definitely also more well known than say Tarongo Falls so just be prepared sometimes the car park can get full in summer and when it's more popular 
but definitely worth a visit. Number four is Mackenzie Falls. Now a lot of you probably have heard of this one. It's in the Grampians National Park. Uh, it's about 40 minutes from Halls Gap. So it is quite a fair drive and it is three and a half hours west of Melbourne. So that's obviously a long drive, but I would definitely say make a weekend of this one. Uh, the Grampians has so much to offer and I'll link my other video below to show you some of the walks that I've done there as well. But definitely make a weekend of it because it's absolutely beautiful. One of my favourite places in Victoria and the waterfall is also great. Mackenzie Falls is definitely best viewed from the base of the waterfall. Uh, it's only two kilometres return but it's definitely a challenge coming back up. Walking down is fine, lots of steps. It does get quite steep but then coming back up is definitely a killer and they say to allow one to one and a half hours for the two kilometre walk. So that's obviously a long time because it is so steep. There is a lookout along the way which looks out over the gorge and then like kind of halfway down, uh, you get a great view of the little waterfalls at the top of the waterfall. And then you kind of walk down the side of the cliff alongside Mackenzie Falls, which is a great view to kind of look at it from a different perspective as well. But once you're at the base, there's a massive like water hole basically, and then the river flows on as well. So in summer, I've seen lots of photos of people go there and actually swim there, which would be beautiful. But I would say it would be very busy in summer as well. But once you're down at the base of the falls, it is just a great area to explore. You can continue walking along the Mackenzie River. And there's just like lots of great tracks and it's obviously like boulders everywhere. And it's just really fun, especially for kids. I think kids would love it. Although coming back up with them would probably be a challenge, but yeah, definitely worth a look to go out to Mackenzie Falls. Number three is Paradise Falls. This is one of my favorites. I love this waterfall. Although in terms of a waterfall, there's not always that much water flowing over it, but it's just a great place to visit. It is a long drive from Melbourne, about three and a half hours. Uh, it's located in the Alpine National Park and it's just out of Chess Hunt. So you drive through the King Valley to get there and then when you do get to the start of the track, it is a dirt road and that continues for about 11 kilometers, but it is well maintained and fine for two wheel drives. And then once you get to the car park, there's a beautiful picnic area and the toilet and that sort of stuff. So it'd be a great place to take lunch and, you know, make a day of it. From the car park, it's only a 500 meter walk. It does get a little bit steep in some sections, but it takes you to an epic lookout. And the waterfall is basically over this massive like cave and it's all just like red rock, red dirt. Literally reminds me of like the Northern Territory or somewhere. It's absolutely beautiful. I've been there twice and the first time there was more water. So it had like two kind of falls coming over the top of it. The second time there was only one and like it was pretty sad so definitely try and plan this one in winter if you can because i know it can completely dry off in summer like there's actually no water coming over the top which is still be fun to explore uh, because you can actually keep going past the lookout like the track ends but you can keep walking and actually go into the cave so you can actually like walk around through it and explore yeah definitely try and plan this one for winter if you can if not still a great place to visit but definitely add this one to your list because i was absolutely blown away the first time i went there number two is trenton falls a lot of you probably have heard of this one because it is closer to melbourne it's only an hour and 15 minutes drive and it's located in the colburn river scenic reserve. You don't really need to spend too much time at this one because it's only like a literally like a two minute walk from the car park. It's very quick, um, easily accessible. Definitely good one for kids in that because of this short walk and a well laid out track. But it is definitely one of the best waterfalls in Victoria as well because there's just so much water flowing over it. And it's basically just a sheer drop straight over, like it's not cascading down or anything. The water actually drops 32 meters over the top of the falls. And basically it's like falling down over these basalt columns and it just looks absolutely stunning. You can see like the little pools at the top of the falls and then it follows the river down and it's just absolutely beautiful. We visited here when we went to Hanging Rock. Uh, so there's plenty to do in the area if you are planning on going because you probably don't need that long at the waterfall, although it's absolutely beautiful. There is only one viewing platform here, so it can get quite busy when there's lots of people and you kind of have to wait your turn to take a photo and that's Sort of thing. Um, there is a track that did used to go to the base of the falls, which they've obviously said is not safe anymore, but people obviously still do it. But the track does end at that one viewing platform. But nonetheless, there's plenty to do in the area and I would definitely recommend a visit to Trenton Falls. So number one on my list is Hopeton Falls, located in the Great Otway National Park. I did visit here recently while doing the Great Ocean Road. So if you are planning on doing that trip, definitely make this waterfall one of your stops. If not, it's about two and a half hours southwest of Melbourne if you just want to head there for the day. So there is two viewing platforms at this waterfall. One is 20 meters from the car park and literally takes like two minutes to walk there. And you can see the top of the falls like through the trees and that, but it's not a very clear view. If you're going, I would highly, highly recommend walking down to the base because that's where the best view is and it's a beautiful walk as well. And if you're there anyway, then why not? So walking down to the base is a one kilometer return trip but there is over 200 stairs, so that is quite a lot. So allow at least half an hour, but again, another gorgeous walk, like ferns and beautiful trees everywhere, so luscious and green. 
And again, like I said, everything's better in winter, so try and go in winter if you can. But when you get to the base of the falls, there's a great viewing platform. Uh, there's like a little picnic bench and everything, and it's nice and big, so when it is busy, there's still room for everyone to, you know, get their photos and everything. You are still a fair distance from the falls, but it's absolutely beautiful because the river just like flows from the waterfall right in front of you and basically beneath you as well. And it was just stunning because everything was so green and luscious and there was so much water flowing when I was there. So I think definitely the time of year that I visited because there was so much water flowing and just the sheer like 30 meter drop into the area of I was just absolutely stunning that just made it. And because I was there in winter, I was literally like the only person there as well. So, so many reasons to visit in winter, but definitely add this one to your list. There is so many along the Great Ocean Road as well. Uh, so, like I said, let me know if you enjoyed this video and I'll definitely make another one because there is a couple more on the Great Ocean Road that I want to show you guys as well. So I really hope this video has helped some of you guys. Like I said, there was nothing like this when I was researching myself to try and find some good waterfalls. But now that I've been to so many, I just want to share them all with you and inspire you guys to get out there and enjoy the beautiful nature that we've got especially in Victoria there's so many great places to visit including waterfalls so let me know if you enjoyed this video and let me know if this actually inspired you to go visit some tag me in your photos and that sort of thing and stay tuned for a part two if you guys liked it